Hello, Daz Studio community. This is Not From This World, and I want to welcome you back to my tutorial channel. Now, today we're going to keep things really simple. I don't even have a scene set up. I just have Milica, and she's wearing a clothing setup called Peroska. And this is from the Daz Studio store, Genesis 8 clothing product. And we're going to morph the clothes and I want to just show you something very simple and that is how to lengthen the clothing using just Daz Studio. Now Daz Studio probably isn't designed to really do this. We could put it into Blender. We could put it even into Hexagon and maybe do this a little more efficiently, but I want to show you today how to do this only in Daz Studio. And I want to show you the basics of extending the clothing. And then you can take this a step further and perhaps even create your own morphs for the clothes using this technique. So I tend to think that we can learn the basics first and then go more advanced once we get the hang of things. So I kept things really simple here with Milica tonight. Now I want to keep her in this A pose. We don't want to put her into a pose and then try and do this technique. We want to keep her in the A pose. We want to morph and change the clothing. Then we're going to save the clothing so that we can put this morph in whenever we want to. And then we can go ahead and pose Milica however we want, run the morph, then run a simulation, and hopefully get some good results. So I am gonna move to the front view, which just directly shows Milica from the front. And I'm gonna do two things tonight. We're gonna try and lengthen the dress and drop it down kind of below her calves, maybe from her perspective, add about a 10 centimeters or so to the dress. And then I'm also going to show you how we can do the same kind of technique with her sleeves. And we're going to extend the sleeves maybe down to her wrist. So first, let's do the dress. Now, in order to do any morphs and manipulations here in Daz Studio, I'm going to select the dress. And we're going to be using two assets today. We're going to be using Geometry Editor, and we're also going to be using Mesh Grabber 3 from Man Friday. Now, Mesh Grabber 3 is a product that you purchased in Daz Studio, but I've got to tell you now that it's probably not for sale anymore because Daz Studio is taking this add on and they're putting it into their premier service. So if you don't have Mesh Grabber 3, you might not be able to do this, unless you can get it somehow, without having the uh, premier membership. So I'll, sorry about that, but it's just one of those things that is happening with Daz. We're all dealing with that premier membership challenge. Okay, so let's lengthen this skirt. So I have the skirt selected. I'm going to come up here to tools and I'm going to go to geometry editor. Now, once I'm in geometry editor, I'm going to zoom in to the bottom of her dress with geometry editor selected. I'm going to go to my tools and under tool settings, I'm going to make sure I have a couple things selected. First of all, I'm going to select the polygon selection. Then I'm also going to have the symmetry checked. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the bottom section of her dress so that we can drag it and pull it with mesh grabber. Now I can also hover over the dress I have selected, right click, and I get the same kind of menu. So you can see here under tool mode, I've got polygon selection selected and then under selection mode for this I'm going to make sure I have marquee selected all right symmetry x axis I think is good so I'm going to click out of that and then outside of my dress I'm just going to left click and then drag and you'll see I'm getting a red box 
I'm going to go up a little ways, but I don't want to go up too far because what I've noticed in the past is if I go up too much on the dress, I will get poked through with her calves. So I'm going to try and avoid getting a lot of poke through, but I want to select enough of the bottom of the dress so that the entire dress bottom is selected. So if I go back to my perspective view, you can see I've selected the entire dress. So her dress bottom is completely selected. That's what we want. If you don't select enough of it, then you won't get the results that you want and you'll get a lot of poke through. Now with this selected, what's really cool is if I don't have enough or if I have too much selected, I can always hold down control and then in my number pad, I can hit the plus button and see that selects more of the dress and then holding down control, I can also hit the minus button and that's going to delete certain polygons. So dress here is not exactly straight. So you can see we have a little bit of a tilt. So I can kind of go to the back and I can hit control and we can select down towards the bottom just so I have a ring of polygons at the bottom of the dress selected. Now, once I have that, we can now manipulate this with Mesh Grabber. I should mention also that a lot of us are going to be using the lit wireframe when we are in Geometry Editor, and this just makes it easier to see what polygons are selected. For this technique, I'm not going to be using the wireframe. I'm going to stay in texture shaded because I can see things a little bit better and I can see how the textures of my clothing are affected by this pulling and stretching. So I'm going to leave it in the texture shaded option here. Okay, now that I have my geometry editor polygons selected, I'm going to go to Mesh Grabber. So I'm just going to select Mesh Grabber. And what this has done is it has created a ring around the dress that Mesh Grabber recognizes and then will pull. So now, just like using Mesh Grabber for other things that you've done, you can move this selected area, but I'm not um, trying to select it with just Mesh Grabber. Just imagine how much of a pain that would be. This Geometry Editor trick is selecting it for us. Now I can select my arrow and I can just carefully pull down on the dress. Now, as I get closer to her ankles, I need to check for poke through. And luckily, right at the moment, I have no poke through. So I think I selected just the right amount of polygons at the bottom of her dress. So now, see, I have taken that dress and I have extended it down. We could even go lower if you want, kind of put it right at her ankles. Perfect. Now, what's really cool is with my mesh grabber tool settings, I can go here to save. We can hit save and then it's going to save it as a morph that we can use in the future. So for the morph name, I'm just going to name it dress extension. And once I have that named, I'm just going to hit OK. And under our Peroska skirt, we're going to have Mesh Grabber. When we hit Mesh Grabber, we're going to have that Morph Dress Extension. And so see if I go to zero, we have our original dress. But if I take this Dress Extension and slide it, then we now have our Morph. Pretty cool. So now I have created this Dress Morph and made it longer. Okay, now I also promised that I wanted to show you how we could extend the sleeves. Now, this would probably be a lot easier to do in Hexagon or in Blender, but I'm going to show you how I would do this sleeve extension down to her wrists in Daz Studio. We're going to do the same basic thing, except what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to make her sleeves into a position I can grab. 
So I'm just going to kind of have a top view here. I'm going to select Milica's shoulders and I am going to take her shoulder and we're going to move it. The uh, left shoulder is going to be moved to negative 90 position and we're going to select her right shoulder and we're going to move it to a positive 90 position. And you can see that just moved the sleeves into a symmetrical position that we can now grab with our uh, geometry editor. Okay, so now the first thing I need to do is select her top. Then I'm gonna go to Tools, go to Geometry Editor, and I am going to get that same box. Now, this kind of depends. Do I want to just grab this gray area? Or do we care if we grab a little bit of the sleeve? She has a pattern shirt. So what I'm gonna try and do is just grab the gray area and pull that down. So she'll have kind of a longer gray area. I think if I try and grab this shirt sleeve too much, it'll mess up that pattern and make it look pretty whack. So I'm just gonna grab this and then hit it and if I move around, you're gonna see that I have both sleeves selected now. Now it doesn't really matter what position, I probably would be good to put her in a position where I can kind of see both the side and the top. But now I have this all selected. I'm gonna to go to tools, go back to mesh grabber. And now this is the tricky part. We're gonna pull that sleeve so that it extends it. So as I pull it, I may have to use a couple different arrows, but you can see I am pulling that sleeve and making her shirt longer. Now it did actually, even though I had just the gray selected, it's pulling on more than just that part of the sleeve. So I am distorting that pattern a little bit, but you know, I think that looks pretty good. So we're gonna stop there. I'm gonna go to save and do the same thing. Now this is a sleeve extension. So I'm just gonna name it that sleeve extension. This is gonna be under mesh grabber with the Peroska top. I'm gonna hit okay. Now with my Peroska top selected, I have this mesh grabber morph sleeve extension. See if I drop it down to zero, it's the original. And if I extend it, it is now manipulated. All right, so that is how I would manipulate clothing within Daz Studio. So let's get out of this. Let's get out of Geometry Editor, Mesh Grabber. Let's go to a pose and let's pose our Milica girl with these morphs enabled see if we succeeded or we failed. So I'm just gonna select a general pose. Let's see, I like, let's say this one. I'm gonna select Milica and let's just put her in this pose. All right, that does not look bad. This is a D-Force enabled clothing item. So I can run a simulation just to see and get a better pose result. All right. You can see that looks pretty darn good. I am pretty pleased with that. Really looks like uh, the dress is supposed to be that long. All right, let's twirl her around. Look at that, no poke through. Maybe a little poke through right there. Not bad though at all. I can live with that. And you can manipulate your clothing this way. All right, so I hope that helped you. And I hope that um, you can play around with this, maybe even get a little more advanced. I have practiced on shortening things using this technique and it doesn't work as easily. You can do it. Like if we wanted to shorten her top to expose her midriff or something, we could definitely do that kind of thing. It's just a little more difficult. It's easier to make things longer with this technique than it is to make it shorter, but you get the picture. All right, so I'll probably throw a background behind Milica to make our thumbnail and we'll call it good. Have a wonderful weekend. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me those comments. I love to read them. All right, until next time, happy rendering.